Hey folks, welcome back to Shadow Empire. This is episode 13, I think, of uh, my Let's Play series of the Oceania DLC. I'm really enjoying this series, man. It's really been really interesting to play a game where I'm not immediately beset, just on every side, straight away. <laughs> Although we do have some little, little problems keep popping up on our borders, but I love it. More problems, the better, as far as I'm concerned. I like killing things. Let's uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, we're still in this decade of revolution. Uh, total of your BP assets is at six levels, so we've successfully delivered on our demand. Uh, we've discovered the anti-tank gun, and we've got a bunch of cards. None of them are particularly jumping out at me at the moment. Let us have a look at our cash flow. Okay, we, we lost 97 credits. That's not too bad. But I rarely, rarely, rarely are make enough credits in this game until the very, very late game. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just that I, I recruit too many troops. Or I just kind of, you know, have assets that I can't really afford. That might be it. Let's see what we can do about it, though. I, I don't want to raise taxes anymore. We can sell some stuff. Food's not making much money, though. And we're only making... We're only good, I want to get a bit of a bank of food. Uh, rares are a decent price, however, I'm really reluctant to sell them. We're not making enough money. I really need to get into here. That's 600 points. We're about to get into this one. What's going on? Hello, please. Oh, there we are. Strange. Okay, that's 1500. This is level 4. This one's level 6. I think this one's going to be better. There's also water there as well. I don't care about water. It's absolutely useless on this map. Um, the private economy can build to get a nice mine if they really want to waste money employing people. Right, let's get that, let's get that up. That was really important. And then we're going to construct a mining asset. So, metal mining facility. We are going to be going backwards in energy though. Um, I'm going to have to manage that. Even if it means dropping down the uh, you know, the production of one of my buildings or something. Let's move that back. Uh, bureaucrat office went up as well. Yeah, we're definitely going to be going backwards in energy uh, with this mine. We do need the mine though, I think. Uh, I'd get the mine up. Once I've got the mine up, I can actually start. I might actually sell a little bit of metal. I know this sounds a bit crazy, but... The price for it is good at the moment, and we're getting like 160 a turn. We're going to get a metal mine up. Let's sell a thousand credits worth. Nice round number. Roger that. Okay. Uh, SHQ commander managed to increase the, pr the price with 33 credits in the final bargain. Okay, that's good. So we got even more credits. N nice to have a bit of a trading bonus there. Let's see if we can get a trade deal with these with this neighbour of ours. He looks like he might be the sort of guy... Oh, no, we can't. And the reason being is because we don't have a foreign affairs council. And I can't... I daren't put one up until we've got the... Until we've got the energy producing assets researched. So... Or at least until we've got them discovered. Yeah, I think that's about it. Let's get these new combat troops in. And we're just going to crush this, this group. Yeah, they're not going to be able to hurt us, look. They've got a massive um, weapon modifier. Cal calibre modifier to attack values is quite low. We did lose one troop, look. There we go, look. That is the elegant way to win a battle. We just lost um, 100 troops by the looks of it. Okay, we have retaken the uh, free folk town of Piafarben. And I think with that... We are relatively secure. Now, um, we should be able to get... Yeah, let's actually get these troops kind of moving up this way. There we are, look. So we could probably start pushing up this way and push this fog of war back as well. 
Okay, I think that's it. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this game done because I don't. I don't want to be spending too much time kind of faffing around with little, you know little details here and there. Let's just get this game played. Okay, we killed 100 infantry. That was because something invaded us off the coast. Uh, scavenging community has been uh, removed, so we we are we are kind of running out of rare metals now. That's one problem. Uh, we've discovered RPG. And we've discovered sanitation programs that might be useful we've also got a zoo project commercial asset yeah these uh, factions are creating us stuff there's been a war between gray line and hestia mths and yeah they, they both lost two ships in the war okay worker happiness is low is that in port real no that must be in on here okay why is that going down ah that, because of the danger that's why and also low quality of life um, also, they don't have that many troops. Let's get let's get workers in. Uh, we'll go. And a whole bunch of workers in. We'll also build. Barracks. Yep, I think that might be the one. Um, industry two might be, might be, might, might, uh, sorry, industry one might be nice. The only problem is that, yeah, it only costs twenty energy. But we're, yeah, we, I don't think we're going to be able to afford it because we are going to start going backwards in energy. Oh look, now, got somebody landed on our borders. That's just, where do they come from? Non-aligned forces. All right, must be. I think they must be. Let's see what we got. Minambly cephaloids. Okay. We're going to get danger in Port Royal because of those guys. Um, yeah, danger's gone up. We need to get rid of those quick. We do. Let's get the uh, second up. So this river, uh, getting across this river is the issue. I think that must be it. Unless uh, you'd have thought that. Oh yeah, if you're strategic moving them, of course, then you'll you'll make make use of the road. I was like, why aren't the roads working? And then I was like, yeah, that's because I'm not using them. <laughs> you don't use them unless you are actually in strategic move. Let's push these back. It looks like these uh, Elisaria are actually kind of taking territory. Cheeky buggers. So we've got landing union. Get lost, landing union. I don't know who you are. You can get bent though. And um, we should consider trying to get a contract to land onto Cortez and take this. I don't know what they've got there. Policy speech. We still got not got wealthy friends. I want that. So I think population happiness re uh, going up. That's interesting. Roger that. Let's get that. Model design council task priorities. No, Roger just going to leave that. that. Uh, industrial points. They want 249 credits for. Hold on. Don't have many industrial points. Oh, this is Aphrodite C. Yeah, we, that, it will raise our relationship. Let's do that with them. Training opportunity in the third uh, mid, mid range mobile battalion. Yeah, mind. Definitely mind. I don't care about the actual unit feats. The unit feats are good, by the way. Um, But it's absolutely critical that we get higher into mind because if we can get the uh, logical thought that would be lovely 10 th you know, okay so in 10 rounds yeah we definitely need to get some troops up here look yeah I reckon the tanks should be able to do it have a look yeah they're not very strong these things look Chaser Predator. They're very fast. They're also slow. Oh, it, uh, it's got Aquatic Chaser Predator, sorry. Very fast animal usually, but then uh, they are slow. So yeah, they're, they're not actually fast. So they're, they're fast, but they're slow. <laughs> not quite sure how that works. Might be that they're fast in combat, but they, you know, they kind of like migrate slowly. They just kind of move around slow. Let's get these tanks up here too. Uh, I might actually 
Sorry, let me just have a look at these things. I'd like to get them in the second light in uh, brigade. Let's just see who they've got. Oh, they've got the GR troops attached. They are pretty good, to be fair. However, the Adam Silimate here is a tank commander. He likes tanks. So, we could... Oops, where are we? Is it possible to transfer these guys? No, can't do that. Yeah, I was thinking we could uh, we could upgrade them and give the GR units into one of those things and then free up a battalion of detachment slot. But I don't think we can do it. So what I'll do instead, let's get this uh, this leader up here. Rather me rather than messing around to, uh, to taking the organisation, this is going to take the that's going to get rid of their readiness points. Doing that, we don't want to do that. We'd rather just attack with them. Okay, uh, what else have we got to do this turn? Just gonna have a quick look at my leaders to see if there's anything that needs any attention. Natural relationship points, pretty good. Uh, Sunny Ironmore, however, this guy, his relations going down. Why? He likes militia, democracy, and heart. Uh, so the relationship was higher than the natural point. Okay, so his relations high, but he's na he's natural. He doesn't like me very much. Got to do something about that. Uh, let's see if we got a card we can play. That just improves the relation. We want to improve it. Is oh, is that relation? Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we want loyalty to go up though. That's the issue. Not low loyalty, but he's, he could be better, and he's going to get better roles on everything if we make him happier. Uh, he might end up joining a faction, in which case things could be better for him. Uh, Secretary, don't really care about. Yeah, this guy's 73. I, I, I'm concerned that he's going to retire eventually. He is pretty old. At range, uh, around age 65, the leader's stats will become will become too degrade. Oh gosh, definitely some. Uh, Vic needs an editor, man. Uh, and retirement may be imminent. Okay. Yeah, he's got really low war scores. I forgot about that, but he's got really good intelligence. He doesn't seem to be degrading his skills. Yeah, he's losing strength and war because he's getting older. But his intelligence is still holding. He's losing charisma as well as he's getting older. He's not quite as attractive to the ladies anymore. Uh, yeah, I think we're we're about done for this one, for this turn. Yeah, I'm not going to build anything else. Okay, guys, I will catch you in the next turn. Okay, we killed 700 infantry and we lost 300 infantry. Let's have a look where that was. Uh, we've discovered water soil recomposition. Yeah, we don't care about that. Uh, I think I've never ever needed to use those, not even on Seth planets. And I think it's a bit of a problem. Civilization reached level 5. That's good. Exotic combat drug. Um, what else have we got? Security outpost might be useful. Private investment's a good card. Um, now, we have got one... Th one thing we could do is we could try to liberate these peacefully, but they're, they're at war with us at the moment. I think it's just going to be easier to try and take them. Uh, that might not be the case, though. Let's see who it was who attacked us, by the way. Oh, it's these things here. The swimmer octopuses. They lost quite a lot of troops. We lost some militia. Now, they did run up in... They did bump into a bunch of tanks. Let's see if we can take them out with what we've got here. Okay, we lost some machine guns, as usual. Okay, we pushed those guys back. That should stop the danger increasing anymore in Port Royal. Let's have a look at what we've got in the decisions. National budget. Okay, Economic Council wants more. Model design less, probably. Yeah, basically, I mean, most of these don't really need much. Applied Co Science Council is kind of important. But yeah, it's really we really want to be putting most of it into the Economic Council. You'll notice that there's an interesting, you know, 
you, you really get diminishing returns when it comes to increasing the relationship. Sorry, increasing funding. People like you a little bit more if they get more funding, but they really dislike you if you cut their funding. Bit of a problem. Now we've got salaries. Um, now, soldiers are really happy. I'm tempted to cut their salary again. And we've already been through the whole thing of, you know, feeling bad about it, but... I don't think really we're paying the soldiers that much that that would make a big difference anyway. Let's just have a look. Uh, we are paying soldiers 36 credits. Oof. What's costing us all this money? It must be what we're building. Are we going backwards in energy yet? No. Metal mines are uh, constructed. Now... Yeah, we're not we're not paying the upkeep on that yet for the sorry the energy production cost. So we might find that this starts going backwards next turn. We'll see. We'll see. Requesting for fight, help fighting syndic cells. This is a Lasaria. Yeah, we uh, this is going to like minus government at the expense of autocracy, and we we'll get a relation increase. But gov minus government's kind of bad. Because I do think that eventually, right, we want to be going into government to get the bureaucratic bonus. I think that would be a big help. Um, oh, pushing into um, this one, though, private economy bonus. I think getting, getting at least one level of bureaucracy would be pretty helpful, though. So I'm going to say no... I'm going to say no. Um, um, we reduce the autocracy there, but we also we don't lose uh, we don't lose too much in government. And we want we I think we're going to have to go into that at some point. I'd probably rather have the bureaucracy bonus than going any higher in commerce. Actually, uh, these I'm not too worried about. Let's just leave that for the time being. Everyone seems to be fairly happy. Now we've got a plan, and the plan is to invade Cortez. We don't have any recon points on there yet. Don't, I don't think we'll be able to get a spy in. Oh, we've already got three spies in. All right. But we still can't see very much. That's kind of interesting, look. Let's talk to one of the maritime trading houses. Aphrodite Sea might like us a little bit more. Oh, yeah, that did go up a little bit. So they're still in stranglehold. Cavassia Great Lake like us more. Let's see if we can talk to Cavassia Great Lake. And we'll do the... Where are we? Information contract. No, that's not it. Recon contract. Yeah, I think I think that's what we're going to do. And we, like, I think Cortez is going to be our first our first conquest. If we can get, we can figure out what we need on there. What what's, what they've got on there? Sorry, we'll send one of our. I'll probably send the second over with some. I don't think we'll get tanks over. It just depends on how many points we manage to get. We probably need to upgrade our port. Now, have we got a port? No, we've just got a private harbour. I think we should nationalise this. Okay, so we nationalised the private harbour. I could have built one somewhere elsewhere, but the thing is, this is going to be better defended. Uh, so we've got our own port now. We need to start upgrading this, so let's get that upgraded straight away up to a port level yeah, 2. The higher the port, the, the more, you know, the easier it is to get troops over. So, yeah, that's looking okay. Ah, does the port take energy? No. Okay, that's good. This is going to give us 200 port points when it's up, and it's going to give us 200 food as well, which is the food bonus is a nice little, a nice little thing to have. Uh, yeah, I think other than that, we are pretty good to go. Can't get anyone. Get these industrial points. No connection to SHQ found. Why? Because we've just moved in there. I guess so. Um, now, what we want to do is we want to cut that off to all but pull points. 
And I know that these two systems don't really play nice and Vic was kind of advising me, you know, that there's, it's more that you want to be using the custom pool points. But I gotta be honest with you, I just don't figure, I can't figure that out very easily. Um, like, I don't want to be wasting these. Look, we've got more points than we need. This asset needs 100 logistics points. I think basically what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to say, okay, I want an uh, overall mode. And you say, I want 100 points going here. I think that's how that works. Um, if we go to... All right, that seems to have fixed it, look. Oh, no, we don't know if it's fixed it because we've... Yeah, no, it's still sending two, 200. Yeah, I just don't understand how this works. Like that, Now we've sent an override mode. Surely, my understand is, now we're sending, we're only going to be sending 100 points that way, no more than 100, okay? And then, because it's in overall mode, next turn's logistics should only be sending 100 that way. But it's saying more, oh, I don't know. Who knows? Let's let's just roll the dice. It just honestly, I know this sounds like, an, it just honestly seems like a bit of a random system. The logistics in this sometimes, and I know that it's not. There is some kind of rhyme and reason to it, but I can't damn figure it out. Okay. Okay, no combat this turn. Population happiness increased, so we kept our promise, and we've discovered radiation filters. And we discovered APC, and we discovered communication techniques to the Applied Science Council. The Economic Council doesn't seem to be finding anything. But what is going on there, I wonder? I wonder if we're wasting... Are we wasting bureaucratic points going into this, I wonder? Let's just have a look at this. No. No, they're not wasting any points. They're just not finding anything. Yeah, actually, look, we are we're in, we're in, uh, we're investing 160 bureaucratic points, but only 120 were assigned. How does that work? Wait a minute. Am I being am I just being absolutely crazy? Hold on. No, Economic Council didn't find anything that turn. Alright. Let's just see where we are in the tech tree. Oh yeah, we found water soil recomposition, didn't we, last turn? Okay, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, we are working through this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine to work, uh, you know, nine. Nine in the bag, and we got to pick one uh, or two. So we, we get, really, we want solar energy. I don't want to have to go with power plant, actually. So really, it's, it's, it's solar power that we want, but we are not getting much in the way of rare metals now. That's the big problem. We're running low on credits, too. Did we... Have we lost 174. Oof. Energy is going down now, too. Yeah, we, this is starting to get a bit critical. Okay, let's let's try and figure out how we can get to Cortez. I think that's going to be the the issue because if we can get more people, that's going to help. Okay, Cavassia Great Lake Recon contract with the Maritime Trading House. Um, we don't have enough money to do this, so let's go to trade. I don't sell any rare metals. I'd rather, I'd honestly rather sell normal metals at this point. And we can't afford, like, but yeah, let's just sell a bunch of rares, uh, a bunch of normal metals. We haven't really got much use for them. Right. Let's at least get some decent credits out of them. We've got loads more where these this came from. Uh, yeah, we've got 22,000, so we can, we can gradually extract from here. I think that was the right choice. Uh, we have got fate points too. Now, let's get a... Four rounds, 16 rounds. Gosh, it's expensive, isn't it? Copy that. Yeah, we're going to get some recon points in. Elisario, it's parliament. It tur turns its parliament against us. Hang on. Elisario, it's parliament turns against us. Again, needs some editing here, I think. 
Uh, let's... What do we do? What do we do? We raise mind and commerce. That might be smart. Difficulty's high, though. I don't want to lose commerce points. Okay, we've already dropped down below corporations. We've got a chance of getting wealthy friends. I'd, li I'd quite like that one. Failure. Still, we got the commerce points. Alright, these guys might attack us. I mean, you know, if they do, fair enough. It will give me something to shoot. And I like killing stuff in this game. It's one of my favourite things. You are just walking into my favourite thing, guys. I think that's, yeah, again, about it. Yeah, we don't even have enough workers here. Okay, the danger is diminishing, fortunately. We paid 500 credits for attracting 2,500 extra free folk. Oosh. Maybe I should forbid them from buying free folk. I do want the population, don't get me wrong. But that seems expensive. I'd rather they built assets. Like the quality I'd probably rather they had the quality of life buildings. Um let's get a barracks up here too. Again, it's going to start taking, it's going to drop our energy down, but I think when we don't go down too deep, too far, we can, al we can always kind of turn stuff off as we need it, and if we do completely run out of energy. Uh, private investment might be good in halfway. Okay, that gave us 450 credits of investment. Try prospecting push as well. Um, I think we're gonna would probably do that in Port Real. No, I think it said we we're not able to do that, didn't it? Let's have a look at the prospecting overview. Yeah, we are sure we can't discover any further deposits in this zone. We are sure. Okay, I guess that means that there's no more deposits. They they can't do any more then. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. So that's a wasted card. Should we scrap some? Scrapping cards is always good. What else have we got? Probably not going to use that. Let's scrap these because look at that zoo project gives you nine. That's really, really high. That comes dead easy as well. We'll keep with just a couple just in case we don't manage to get any more, but, I, but those are those are well worth scrapping. Right, let's a feeling in trencher. <laughs> okay, um, what else? A proud scout station. Ooh, excellent. That will be worth playing right now, I think. So let's get that uh, scout station up in halfway. Uh, we'll go. Go. That's going to raise our merit meritocracy role. Uh, meritocracy up as well is decent. Okay, we're going for uh, martial tournaments. I think now would be a good time to start switching into democracy. I'd like martial tournaments first if we can get it, but holding martial tournaments might be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, I think we're done here. And uh, actually, folks, I'm probably going to end the turn now. We have got a, we have got some credits. These guys aren't so happy with us anymore. I was hoping we could trade, um, but I'm not sure whether they're going to. We need to have a relationship. We need higher relations. And we haven't got a foreign affairs council anyway. It's going to make that more difficult. Let's just leave that for the time being. Um, right. Start getting these guys kind of 
So we do want to guard this border. Just in case we get any uh, creatures popping up and just cutting off our supplies to our metal metal mining facility. Yeah, I don't think there's much more I'm able to do on this turn, folks. Pretty constrained for uh, resources, and it's all because of our energy situation, I'm afraid. Alright guys, I will catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'm trying to get 2,000 subscribers, so if you are watching my videos and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I hope you'll think that that's something that's worth doing. Um, you know, I know it's kind of more annoying on a TV, but if you're watching on a computer, it's pretty easy to subscribe. And I'd really appreciate it if you did, because, you know, it helps my channel. And I'm trying to grow my channel a little bit, you know. I want, I'm, I'm really enjoying doing more content. And, you know, the little bit of extra revenue helps me to be able to spend more time on this than I would spend on doing other things that I make, you do to make money in my non-working time, if you follow me. Because this is not the only other thing that I do. So, um, but yeah, I would like to do this more. And the more people I've got watching my videos, the better, because I make more ad revenue. Um, and that's really, really good for me. So if, you're, if you think that that would be good, then please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Share it around with other people that you might think like might like the channel. If I can break 2,000 subscribers, I'll be dead pleased. That would be, you know what, when I started doing this, I never even thought that anybody would watch. I had no idea that people would be remotely interested in watching bizarre old games like this. And uh, yeah, like I say, I am going to be putting up some more content. In fact, by the time you watch this video, there should be um, some script. Uh, there should be at least one scripted video gone up on uh, on a topic. I'm not going to spoil it just in case the video doesn't go up by the time you see it. But yeah, it's it's a related topic and it, it's kind of like a tutorial video, I guess. Kind of like that. Okay, guys, I will catch you next time. Take it easy.